I will explain the workings of two different bicycle bells. The first bell, a bell where you pull on the arm and it makes a sound like this. The second bell, where you flick the arm and it makes a sound like this. I will start with the first bell. With the first bell, it is very easy to see what is underneath if you just open up the, the hood, which you just have to twist off like that. It consists of three parts. You have the rotating piece, which is this one, and it has two little metal plates on it, but I will explain further on that later. Um, it has the cog wheel here, and it has the arm, which goes inside as well. The cog wheel is a cog wheel on top, but also underneath is a tiny hidden one. The um, arm, if you pull it or push it, it, the little spikes go into the little spikes of the cog wheel, which makes the cog wheel turn as well, like that. Now, if we add the rotating piece, which you can see has a cogwheel of its own as well, we um, put it in, and then the spikes fit into those spikes, which makes the rotating piece turn as well. Now, if we add the hood, or cap, we can see that it has a little in-caping here, and that means that on the inside, it's a little bump. Now, the metal pieces on this, the little dishes, if they hit this, the little bump, then the it will create a noise. And because it is a cap, it will sort of echo and it will make the noise of a bicycle bell. So if we just put, on, put back on the hood, and we try it again, and then we go, and that's how it works. Now, the second bicycle bell is a lot less complicated. It is basically that if you flick this, it hits the metal, and it echoes the sound. And that was the explaining of these two bells. Um, Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.